Welcome home Fins fan. This is the lastest news and Miami Dolphins. Latest update on Tua Tungavailoa in the practice room. I can't believe that muscular arm. Brian Flores expands the Miami Dolphins' ability to take a pass with secondary talents. NFL Network predict Gregory Rousseau to Miami Dolphins. Subscribe and like this, let's go. Tua Tungavailoa shares peak at recent workout with Dolphins targets. Despite some swirling rumors earlier this offseason, second-year quarterback Tua Tungavailoa has kept his head down and stayed focused. We've seen constant glimpses of Tungavailoa grinding throughout the winter and early spring, clearly committed to making the most of his second season in the NFL and build upon a promising, but also frustrating, rookie season. Part of the appeal Tungavailoa brings to the offseason is his health, Tunga Vailoa enters the 2021 offseason healthy one year after his playing career was put into question. And now, with health on his side, we're seeing Tunga Vailoa put his foot down on the gas pedal and try to push himself to the standard he and many around the Dolphins organization expect. But Tunga Vailoa isn't doing it alone. And, as shown in a recent shot from a throwing session in South Florida, nearly the entire Dolphins receiving core is in on the grind. Tunga Vailoa posted, it's all in the, de in the details, this afternoon with several images attached on Instagram. But the second photo is the most significant one. Dolphins wide receivers Mac Hollins, Devontae Parker, Albert Wilson and Kirk Merritt were all tagged in the post, plus recent Dolphins signee Robert Foster also appears to be featured in the shot. We've seen from previous videos that Tunga Vailoa has been working with Jakeem Grant as well this offseason meaning the second-year quarterback has been throwing to at least half of the wide receivers currently under contract with the team at some point this offseason, if not more. There's plenty of work to be done, but as Tunga Vailoa is showing us this offseason, he's clearly not shying away from the challenge. And with the general consensus being that most quarterbacks' most important jump comes from year one to year two, the work will go a long way in giving the Dolphins clarity of what Tunga Vailoa's ceiling is. Dolphins head coach Brian Flores travels west to Oregon Pro Day. The Miami Dolphins are widely considered to be looking to upgrade their pass catchers with the top pick of the team's 2021 NFL Draft. Much like drafting a quarterback in 2020, it is a poorly kept secret that the Dolphins are aligning to upgrade their skill group this offseason. And with four high-level pass catchers eligible for the 2021 draft, Miami is guaranteed to be in line to nail one down. But in a move that is perhaps a contingency, but could otherwise be of note, the Miami Dolphins sent some pretty significant representation to Eugene, Oregon on Friday for the Oregon Ducks Pro Day event. Head coach Brian Flores made an appearance and watched each of the Oregon prospects work out. The most notable duck in this year's class is, of course, offensive tackle Penny Sewell. Sewell sat out the 2020 college football season but has been widely considered the top lineman in this year's class and a top five overall prospect prospect in the 2021 draft. And while the Dolphins did add a number of rookie linemen into the fray last year, the team would be well within their rights to explore added upgrades to the trenches this offseason. But there's another explanation for Flores' appearance outside of just Sewell. The Ducks boast one of the deeper groups of defensive backs available in this year's class, Perhaps Brian Flores kept an eye on some of the defenders working out on the day for an under-the-radar edition on day two or later? Oregon's Pro Day featured the following secondary talents, C.B. Thomas Graham, C.B. Diamador Lenoir, S.A.F. Brady Breeze, S.A.F. Nick Pickett, D.B. Javon Holland. Depending on the range of the draft, Miami could possibly be open to adding more talent to a secondary that bears a great deal of responsibility as it relates to Miami's defensive identity. So yes, Flores did travel across the country and saw Sewell work out on Friday. But he also saw a slew of defense they have his eye as well. NFL Network predict Gregory Rousseau to Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins have a lot of draft capital heading into the 2021 NFL Draft. The Dolphins are in a position to add several playmakers to elevate their roster that is coming off a 10-6 record last season. The Dolphins can afford to take chances on high-impact rookies. While the front office is likely to seek offensive talent in the first round, there is a chance the Dolphins might consider a hometown prospect later in the draft. According to NFL Network draft insider Bucky Brooks, 
The Dolphins might be a potential landing spot for Miami Hurricanes defensive end Gregory Rousseau. Brooks felt that the Dolphins could be interested if Rousseau slips to the second round. The Dolphins have the number 36 and number 50 picks in the second round. Rousseau has seen his draft stock fall a bit after not playing during the 2020 campaign. Brooks said on NFL Network's path to the draft telecast that he would hefy the Dolphins' pass rush. When I look Rousseau, not only his playing style but when I look at his pro day numbers, he is eerily similar to Jason Pierre-Paul, Brooks said. When you think about a long, rangy pass rusher, someone who still needs to be developed, but someone who has been able to get to the quarterback. Down in South Florida, I think you'd be pleased if you're able to land a pass rusher like Rousseau. Rousseau has great size at 6 foot 7 and 253 pounds. He broke out during the 2019 season with 54 tackles, 15.5 sacks and two forced fumbles. The talented edge rusher had multiple games with two or more sacks. There was his four-sack effort against Florida State and his three sacks on the road against the Pitt Panthers. It is a slight chance that Rousseau actually falls to the second round. He has a lot of talent and it is a shallow defensive end class this season. Many NFL evaluators have Rousseau aligned next to his Hurricanes teammate Jalen Phillips in mock drafts. ESPN Draft insider Todd McShay has Rousseau going 26th overall to the Cleveland Browns later this month. McShay said that Rousseau offers good value due to his game tape and explosiveness off the edge. Rousseau opted out in 2020 but posted 15.5 sacks in 2019 with the Hurricanes, second in the nation to Chase Young, McShay wrote in his latest mock draft. He needs some polish to his game, but he has a quick first step in the versatility to kick inside at times. He fits a need and comes with good value here at number 26. Regardless of where Rousseau lands, he will need to prove that he is more than a one-year wonder as a pass rusher. He could get that chance in the right NFL system and develop into one of the better prospects in the class. The Dolphins are an intriguing option and one place to watch if he slips to the second round as teams evaluate other pressing areas on draft night.